Do it again. That is new video tonight. It captures the moments after what a Lyft driver is calling a ride from hell. We first reported about this case earlier this month. A man who requested the lift allegedly exposed himself to the driver. He was arrested. And tonight, for the first time, the driver is speaking about what happened. She's sharing her story with Kent's 5 reporter, Megan Reyna. It was Super Bowl Sunday. I was finishing up for the night. February 11th, the Lyft driver who wants to remain anonymous says she decided to pick up one more ride from a bar. Her passenger would be 35-year-old Emma Preet Singh Sadhu. He was already outside with two security guards, stumbling, tripping over his words. She says the bar security insisted he wasn't dangerous, but it would only take a few minutes into the ride before the driver says she felt unsafe. She tells us Singh Sadhu started rapping about sexually assaulting two other women. At that point, we made eye contact in the, the rear mirror, looked right at me and said, you're going to be my next victim. She kept driving. She says Lyft has a panic button you can hit, but in that moment, I froze. She says he changed his drop off location, insisting he still wanted a party. After that, she says he touched her cheek with his finger and demanded sexual acts. He basically said, you're going to do whatever I tell you. She pulled into a gas station and demanded he get out. He punched the door behind me. She says he walked to the front of her vehicle, pulled down his pants and masturbated. She says she finally built up courage and grabbed her phone. Do it again, do it again. Do it again. What's the matter? She What's later matter? discover urine in her back seat and damage to her door. I haven't slept well at all since. Police arrested the man in early April, but he has been out on bond. Knowing that I could go into any HEB or Walmart and he's there is very nerve wracking. And she says since that night, he has stolen from her her sense of safety while driving for Lyft. But because of ongoing health issues, she's still driving for the rideshare company. She's just urging all drivers to remain vigilant. Reporting live, Megan Reyna, Kins 5. Megan.